so yeah at the beginning um i want to talk about uh, you know if you got uh, the friend file you got a lot of asset inside so i want to talk about how can we approach a thing in a very simple way which is i'm looking for a reference uh which is this masterpiece from cloud Rolling. and in my uh you know in my eye i see it you know basically it's just a a, a a some kind of platform then i got a cube a a, a square on top of the platform so we can just do this in blender right we now now you can see i creating a platform and we got all those good assets from uh party heaven and also uh we i finding this kind of uh, uh, uh grass texture area of grass texture from poly heaven and when we download the file you can get this um texture shader sphere and how to do it is like um we can just well i already do it for you so you actually you can just directly use it but if you want to do it yourself later i will explain and yeah basically we want to create a platform a ground plan so i'm come copy the material and also copy the material on this one too you know and also next thing is like i uh, download this uh, model from adobe maximum and we're going to you know this person uh his name is buddy um it's not just well he, he for sure is our buddy but it's just not not just for a scale or anything you know? also very important i think the purpose of this person is to giving us a perspective like we're going to approach our scene from a uh, body's perspective point of view which is well you know think about the pov think about uh, who we are uh, we are suggesting like we are going to observe this environment from um, this character you know i think this it is very important so i'm going to creating a camera and i'm going to setting the uh, clip but of course in here we are setting the hue the whole viewport the clipping uh regarding to whole viewport and later on we go inside our camera but by, by clicking the button on the uh, navigation and yeah we as you can see we going we click the uh, camera to view so we can navigation uh while control what camera looking at so your viewport going to be directly linked to your camera and we're going to increasing the clipping point of the camera again by click uh click the, the icon of the uh, um, layout and we're going to change our focal length into 50 which is a well angle uh, lens uh, it, it could much easier to including more information in the scene and also increasing the perspective but of course sometimes if you reduce the number too small it's going to be very strong so i would say 50 is kind of uh, you know it's still doable it's a bit strong for sure but it's still still pretty okay and yeah we now we got a, a ground and a, a, a guy to set up you know uh, we can start to place um just things on top of, of it right you know oh, oh and so we we can look at from this painting we got a, a nice uh, um central element I, and i want to increase it you know what we can do is just we can make it more dramatic right by just tweaking the proportion by make it taller and extending extending and extending so uh yeah this kind of uh, a left and right symmetry composition is kind of like you know a uh, collect orange the movie you know your your heart your head being stuck on the chair and you've been forced to just watch in the something in the center and i think that's a very effective way to do composition uh so i like to start that way but it, it's just a start point you know you actually for you may feel like uh okay symmetry uh balance uh composition maybe it's a bit boring but 
actually, you know, I would like to start with comp uh, symmetry and the uh, balance composition, then break the composition later if, if I want. So yeah, as you can see, I'm using this forest uh, keybash set from the uh, Party Heaven, and I'm using like some modifiers such as uh, mirror, and I want creating a, a essential point uh, for my mirror. Yeah, as you can see that now we have a we have a something on the scene. And we start to feel the perspective. So uh yeah, about this composition, uh actually it is very much like uh, something I did previously, you know, if I see my previous tutorial, it's just a very regular left and right symmetry balance composition without actually without too many, you know surprise but you know i just wanted to demonstrate okay when we have those uh, just very rich information which is the old model or the key best set how do we begin you know how do we creating something that just fun and interesting you know and, and looks reasonable and, and make some make something uh with you can say almost like uh follow with some kind of pattern some kind of role, some kind of rhythm, and simply just by repeat repeat stuff um, toward to the uh, you know end point of the our canvas. Uh, as you can see, I just creating some word and you know array them and make them extend, and, and somehow our eyes started to follow those word just you know going uh, going forward. And you know we we kind of like creating some kind of linear radiation perspective, the kind of effect. And oh yeah, and I I had to set out this water, and I will show you later how to do it. But right now, if you have the file, you can just use it. Um yeah. So of of course, if you didn't have the file and you wanted to see my process, you can you know just jump jumping and uh, 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 ignore this 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 first one first so yeah I, we want the, the center tower right to, to giving us some kind of central element now all of a sudden we got something to see right we got a very strong perspective guiding our eye to the center and right now for sure we're creating something in the center and we can we can just see the you know as uh, uh, out of it this tower you know, just it's like Everything just you know gathered together, and I we we can feel the the feeling of like ah, oh, yeah I know this is what what it is about. It's just a conversation leading our eyes to see some kind of well, it's cliche, but well at least it's something right, some kind of fantasy tower. And this is what I try to do uh tell you, and uh, I think you know it's all it is actually is an amazing start point because uh if later on you want to create something else, you know most epic stuff you can totally do it and actually i'm i'm going to continue to push this conversation to push this environment and yeah as you can see we start with a, a, a model from Holly heaven now we kind of creating something a bit unique you know but of course it's not entirely different from our previous kit but it is a new language or you can say a vo new uh, vo new words to adding on our visual vocabulary, you see, you can using on a variety of different places. You can creating a tower, right? This this looks a very strong tower and with bevel and the, you know a a, a chainfo, chainfo. So um, it is just something really really fun. You can, you know, you can just follow this uh this this process and just start generating your own idea. And yeah, but uh, of course I didn't put in too much time to create a new element. I was, uh, to me, it's like this process is uh, uh, more about think about or approach our concept design from a two D a two D uh, composition point of view. But of course, uh, it is three D environment, so we can actually think about some of the three D things, you know, a bit, because uh, it, it, if because you know if if this this you can think about we are creating a stage 
for our show or our video game. If, if it is video game, it could be level, right? So um, you can think about, you know, how player are going to work, uh, when, when, what's their feeling of the, when they first look at this environment. And we want to continue to using perspective to guiding our eyes. So, you know, by reputation and click them along, along with the Y axis, we get start to get a sense of, you know, that we can feel like, oh man, this structure, they are very big in the foreground, but when we push them along with the uh, uh, Y axis, we can feel there's a lot more space behind it. And, you know, this is very important and, and very uh, a practical, practical way to creating our composition, which is just by repeating the element. Especially in 3D, we, we can, you know, we don't, we can not, we didn't, we, we can just kind of ignore a lot of tricky stuff, for example, like perspective, right? If you are drawing, you kind of need to be aware of perspective. Uh, and, and, you know, those things actually going to cost a lot of your energy. And now we can just, you know, focus on basically just moving things around, you know, until it looks like dope. That's basically, uh, what I really enjoy, you know, by this process, I guess something very interesting very soon. And as you can see, I zone, a well not zone, I make it bigger. And I'm suggesting, you know, this how big it is. Because you, as you can see, some of element looks really, really big. But when they being pushed away uh, along with the Y axis, they creating another la layer of compass, uh, co contract between those elements and this really huge tower what i'm doing right now see so people can get the feeling like oh man this is really really huge because you know the contract between between this tower and the something uh, in our foreground is just so dramatic you know and this this is another la layer of contract which is uh, uh um something we need a lot which is create by creating a contract we're creating a new uh, 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 level uh, and, and another layer of you know interest and now, now I'm using this arch element to create some kind of intro feeling some kind of door or you know and yeah as you can see I this this contract you know the is uh, uh, between from the foreground and to the background then to the background we're creating this rhythm and, and people can get idea of how big this uh architecture in the background it is you know and that's really really cool because this is how you create in, emphasize the feeling of epic epicness which is just using contract and uh, uh, you know and, and follow some uh, um phenomenal or follow follow some kind of you know nature uh uh the read uh the, the rule of our eye which is you know just perspective you know uh, and you can creating this very cool rhythm and uh, a conversation so as you can see I, I start with pretty uh you know balance just cliche uh composition and now i kind of try to break bad balance a little bit but Actually, later on, I will bring back the balance, actually, because, um, yeah, I got to be honest, you know, because balance and the uh, uh, symmetry composition, it's just very easy to uh, uh, to approach, especially come to this kind of subject matter, which is epic, ancient, slash fantasy uh, uh, architecture, you know, it's just uh, using symmetry, comp um, balance composition, it's just much easier to create this kind of feeling. Uh, as you can see, I directly creating a cube to block the sun, to creating the cast shadow on the foreground. You know, it, it could, it, actually this is uh, suggesting there's a really big structure on the background. And then secondly is also, because we want our foreground to be in the uh, dark, so our eye can much easier to reading the composition. Uh, uh, and because I, to me, I think foreground is the place to creating some kind of uh you know make sense about the, this environment which is we see a platform on the foreground and our we see our character our body in the foreground so we can uh get into 
the point of view, which is point of view of body, which our character, to get idea of oh yeah we are observing this environment from his point of view, we are looking the scene kind of like from his eye, but of course not directly because we can see his head, uh, <laughs> back of his head right, but you know but so to me foreground is like telling the audience hey man this is this is what we are, but we don't want to put too much attention on it. We want to see the the the, the something in the background and something in the background which is this epic. Uh, 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 architecture, you know, those things as I think is truly kind of a, a thing that want to grab much easy, uh, much entertainment to grab audience eye, you know, because who doesn't like super big epic Asian fantasy architecture, right? It's just you know you you must have you must have a, uh, any any fantasy game must have this kind of epic city, right? Even from you know, even from uh, some other games, um, such as um, the Elder Ring, right? Uh, and yeah, we're going to next chapter uh, talk about asset creation, and see you soon.